guys, today is a day I have been waiting for. My iPad just arrived. It is an 11 inch iPad Pro um, 2020 version with only 128 gigabytes. I didn't feel like upgrading the gigabytes. I didn't feel like that was something I needed. And it is space gray. Before I get into this video, feel free to subscribe if you wanna see more and like if you enjoy this video. Also, I have a bandaid on my hand, which you'll probably notice. It's cause I went to the doctor. I'm okay. It's not like a war injury, it's, it's just, just a band-aid. <laughs> so I guess I should just start cutting this box open. Sometimes Apple boxes come with like a really easy way to open them, but sometimes they don't. Oh, and I will also be opening an Apple Pencil during this, I think. Yeah, I already have the footage from opening the Apple Pencil. And I'll link it in here. Link it in, oh my gosh, include it in. Don't worry, nothing's interesting is happening. I'm just opening the cardboard box, okay. I was gonna film at my desk, but it's super messy, so I decided just to do this. And here we are. So here's what the box looks like. Obviously, you can see the iPad Pro right there. So evidently, this is the second generation, and I got Wi-Fi only. I forgot to specify the, that I got Wi-Fi only. Um, yeah. I guess we should just start opening this, right? Okay, there's no... Oh, here it is. Here is a tap. So while I rip this off, I'll just go ahead and let you guys know why I'm getting this. I am going to college for electronic media with a focus in film and television production. So as well as being a second display for my laptop so I can have more screen real estate when I'm video editing, I'm also going to be doing a lot of graphic design on this. Um, I like to digitally draw a ton, so. Hmm. I'm gonna move and show you guys more. Okay, so here's the box with the wrapping all taken off. I guess it's time to open. I'm a little hesitant. Like this is the last time I'll see this for the first time. Does anyone get like really overly excited for tech? Sorry, it's hard to do this one-handed. I do not have a good tripod right now or else I would use that. Okay, I'm flipping you to be here. It's an awkward angle, but I needed two hands. Woo. Oh my God. Look guys, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's here. It's really, it's starting to become real now. Okay, I'll admit I pulled this out of the box once and then I remembered that I have an engraving on the back with like my, my um, personal information. So I'm doing this a second time. And like I said, the first time that I did this, this iPad is still pretty heavy, but it's honestly lighter than maybe I expected. Like it's heavy, it's very, there's a lot here, but it's not terrible. I'm covering the engraving, but it looks so nice. And I think it's time to peel off guys. It's really happening. I honestly don't want to peel this off because it's so smooth and seamless and it looks so freaking good, but I guess I can't hold on to it forever, you know? But literally it is, like it's so, it's big, oh my gosh. My iPad before this was an iPad mini 4 and really I did not use that iPad as much as maybe I should have. I got it when I was younger and um, it kind of was like an iPod to me. It's kind of what I used it for, but once I got a phone that like functioned, I really didn't need it anymore. So it feels good to have finally traded that in to get something I'm really going to use more. And um, I only got $90 for it, so it wasn't great. Like that's not that much of a discount, but I feel like it's really worth it now because I have a device that I'm actually going to use that can do everything that I want it to do and keep up. So let's start peeling. Oh my gosh. It's happening. Okay, wait, this is like the moment of truth, right? The front. Oh, I didn't expect it to do that. Uh-oh, this was not as pleasing as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, here we go. Ooh. I, wait. The home button's on the top, what? I haven't had something that the home button was on the top on in so long. Okay, it's turning on. I don't know why I'm just like sitting here. 
I think I'll move to my desk after this just so I can show you guys like what the, what the iPads do. Watch it sit like this for like 30 minutes. <gasps> okay, hello. I wanna touch it with my finger. So it has 96% battery. I'm gonna choose, here, I'll show you guys by review. I'm gonna choose English, uh, United States, and then quick start. So I'm gonna have to jump off the camera to do this. Okay, so I set up the face ID. I would have shown you guys, but honestly, it took me kind of a long time. I just kept moving my head out of the frame and um, my phone was still setting it up so I couldn't really mess with it. I'm just agreeing to terms and conditions which no one cares about. Um, it wanted me to, somehow it realized that like I had an iPad even though I thought I already took it off um, my thing but it wanted to give me a backup of my old iPad from 2018 to use but obviously didn't do that so I didn't restore it from anywhere. I'm just kind of starting new maybe that's the wrong thing to do so now it says settings from your phone the following settings can be transferred from your phone um i think i'll just continue i don't really i don't really think there's any settings on my phone that are like wrong i've really set my phone up well i haven't had any problems I'm not gonna set up apple pay don't really need it um and i'm gonna set up siri i'm okay with letting siri use my voice whatever doesn't bother me and i'm okay with sharing my apple things Oh, it doesn't need me to set up Siri. I guess it just wants me to figure out how to do things. Wait, I need to go back. Okay guys, it's time to swipe. Are you ready? <gasps> I knew it was coming, but oh gosh, wow. The screen is so big. Wait. Look at that. Okay, I think it's time to put my Apple Pencil in. Hey guys, it's Editing Felicity here. I completely lost the footage of unwrapping the Apple Pencil somewhere in my iCloud, but I will show you guys the Apple Pencil in the next clip and the case that I bought for it. I really recommend the pencil as well as the case, and I will be including a link to the case in the description if you'd like to pick it up. Um, apologies for the confusion, but now you can continue on to the video. Okay, you guys will be relieved to know that I have seen literally every um, unboxing iPad video out there. I'm sorry I'm not as aesthetic as most of them. I have this Apple Pencil like I showed you guys and I put a lavender case on it, so we're gonna take that out. Oh wait, no. At least I know, I know how to attach it, right? Okay. So what you do, what I saw other people do is you do this, it attached, okay. And then something should pop up on my screen, yeah. Welcome to Apple Pencil. Use apps in a whole new way. Create an instant note. Switch tools with a gesture. Okay, knew all of that. Explore double tap. So now I think it wants me to double tap. Okay, I guess I will show you me double tapping. I hope it works with this case on. Oh, sorry. It might not though. Looks like it's working. Okay. <gasps> Whoa, okay. This is so cool. Okay. I almost kind of wonder like if I should put a um, screen protector on this iPad because I honestly kind of like the way this feels with the, I have a like sort of a knockoff paper-like screen protector, but maybe I don't need it. If I do put my screen protector on, I got a jot till you drop one with mob dick. Mob dick? That sounds weird. Funny name aside, I did end up putting on the screen protector and I cannot recommend it enough. The screen protector has been nothing short of excellent. I already liked the way that the Apple Pencil felt on the screen, but the screen protector has made it feel so much more like drawing on paper. It's improved my handwriting, and I don't think that you need the actual paper-like brand. I think that this knockoff is a really great one, and I absolutely love the screen protector. And it is not destroying my Apple Pencil tip like some of the reviews of screen protectors say. It really, honestly, has protected the tip more than anything because it's softer so I definitely re recommend this screen protector and just in general paper like screen protectors so now I have a case to put on it um, it is a case that I will link below because I love it um, I saw this case this is an ESR case I saw this case in 
pink a lot, red a lot, blue a lot, black a lot on um, Amazon, but I couldn't find Midnight Green. I didn't even know it came in Midnight Green, but I knew this was how the case I wanted looked, and I knew that I wanted Midnight Green to match my phone and my laptop. They're all Midnight Green. Um, I'm trashy like that. But um, eventually I found it. It was from ESR, but it literally took me days of searching on Amazon to find this. So if it is still in stock, I will link it below. So if you want it, you can get it too. And it attaches using the magnets, which um, is what I wanted because why well, have the magnets if I'm not gonna use it? And it will make me feel so much better. I also like that if I want to just use the iPad on its own, I can, but I don't have to. I'm just gonna make sure there's nothing on the back of the iPad. Okay, it's time to snap it in. I almost snapped it in without showing you guys, and I was like, no, you guys need to see this. Okay, ready? Oh, I didn't even realize like it was going to snap. Wait, I'm so nervous. Okay. It feels attached. Let's go on my bed where it's safe. Oh yeah, that's, that's way more solid than it feels like it is. Like at first when I put this on, I was like, that's not solid at all, I'm not sure. But now I'm literally, literally doing this over my bed where it's safe and nothing's happening. Okay, it says it should auto sleep. Oh, yep, it just did. Click it again. Auto wake, it works perfectly. It looks great too, oh my gosh. I am absolutely in love with this case, it's perfect. Now let's go grab my Apple Pencil. I really liked this case versus the other ones because, let's see, let me find where it snaps on. Because it wraps around the Apple Pencil, it felt more secure. And now to show you guys that it's secure, look, that Apple Pencil is very attached. Like, how often do you swing your iPad around like this? Not that often, like when is this gonna happen and it's not coming out? Without it, I don't know if it would happen. I guess it's kind of hard to tell because I would have to hold this. Okay. It's pretty good without it, too. So I think this will be a very safe Apple Pencil. It seems like it's held on really, really well. It seems very good. Oh, that's another nice thing. This thing, like, automatically closes. So I don't even know if you honestly need this little side thing, but it makes me feel more secure. But look, that case is perfect because that case did not ruin the magnetism of it at all. I will say the more I hold this with the case with the Apple Pencil, the weight definitely adds up. It definitely starts to weigh more as you add things to it. But it's not really bothering me. I think it looks really good. And now I'm going to download some apps and I'll get back to you after I download them. drawing to get used to the feel of the iPad and I made this little um, background and it is based off of um, a little comic I found online. I knew I wanted to do a dinosaur so I found a little dinosaur and it says not sad scared of heights and I thought it was kind of cute so I did a little doodle um, based off of that comic and uh, I think it looks really good as a background. So let's talk about the apps that I downloaded. Um, I only downloaded a couple. I don't need too many yet. I downloaded Procreate. That's how I draw my, drew my little dinosaur. I did Luma Fusion. Um, that's because I like to edit videos on it. I don't know if I will edit on here, but I haven't because I need it. I edited Fonto, which is great to put font on photos, and I use it to make all of my YouTube um, thumbnails. It's my favorite. And then Notability. This one's for school. Before getting an iPad, I did completely online notes for the last three-ish months of um, my school year, and Notability was the app that I used simply because I only, um, it was the only app that I um, owned already. My Someone else in my family must have purchased it, so I had already paid for it, um, and so I could get it for free. Um, literally, I don't know if it's better than Good Notes. I know there's like a whole debate on it, but... I like it. I don't, I've never had any problems with it. I enjoy using it. Um, 
And the reason that I did all of my notes online was because I wanted to make sure I was going to use this and I definitely did. Here's some from my last iPad that evidently synced up. Um, so yeah, I completely did a basically paperless semester, half semester of school, so like a quarter, and it went perfectly fine. There were no problems. So I knew that the iPad was going to be right for me when I really enjoyed doing a completely digital um, quarter and on my last iPad, which was honestly really hard, but it made me realize that like if I the iPad was a little bit bigger, if I had an Apple Pencil, I'd really enjoy it. And I think it's a, be a better learning technique for me than like previous techniques I've used. I think that this iPad was completely worth it for me. I think I'm gonna use it a lot. I've got four years of college for notes and things. And um, again, I'll probably use Sidecar a lot and use it um, next to my laptop. This was from Amazon. I just found a random one that was cheap. Here's what it looks like. That's the stand. I'll link it down below. Um, it might work better for smaller iPads. It's not huge, but it doesn't seem like too unsteady as long as you're careful with your iPad and um, ideally you probably have a screen protector on it. I think it should be fine. Also, I didn't mention the cords, but the cords are USB to USB. Um, very typical size, um, nothing crazy. Overall, I'm really impressed with the iPad. It really is awesome. That's gonna be the review for now. I just realized I never wrapped up this video, but as you can tell, I'm really excited about the iPad. Since I got it, I've been using it constantly. If you wanna see a more in-depth review of the iPad, please comment below and I will totally make it. But for now, that was the unboxing. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed and tune in next Tuesday for more.